In this video, we'll be solving complex fractions. So we're looking at complex fractions. All right, let's look at the first example. We have four and one eighth minus three and three fourths all over one and one seventh. All right, if we look at this complex fraction, it, it consists of two parts. There is a part in the numerator. I call this the top part. And then there is a section here in the denominator. I just call this the bottom part. With these complex fractions, what we have to do is just numerator divided by the denominator, right? First thing that we want to do with mixed numbers is to convert them to improper fractions. So I'm just going to do that quickly. Where it's 32 and 1, 33 over 8 minus 3, 4 is 12 and 3, 15 over 4. And this is divided by 7, 1, 7 plus 1. That's 8 over 7. So basically I'm going to work with the top part now. So what I have is a 33 minus no, 33 over 8 minus 15 over 4. Well, let's see what we get for this part. The LCM for this is 8. 8 into itself, 1 time. 1 times 33 is 33. 4 into the 8. 2 times. 2 times 15 is 30. What do I have? Over 8. This response is for the top. So if we should put this here, my top part came to 3 eighths. What do we have basically? We really have 3 eighths divide by 8 7. So if we should look at this, we could look at this long stroke here as division, so divided by 8 7. And then we normally as, as multiplication and then reciprocate the fraction that comes after that. So it's going to be 7, 8. Then after that, we're really looking at 21 over 64. All right, so that's the final answer for this complex fractions. All right, let's look at another example. All right. All right, so this one says... 2 and 1 7 minus 1 third all over 1 and 6 seventh. We're going to change all of these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So 7 2 is 14 and 1 15 over 7. This is already 1 third divided by 6. 7 1 7 plus 1. That is 13 over 7. So what we're going to do now again, we're going to work out the top part. And then it's going to be divided by what we have under here. All right, let's deal with the top part first. So we're looking at 15 sevenths minus 1 third. Well, we're going to use the LCM of 21, right? The 7 and the 3 could go into that. So the 7 to the 21 is 3 times. 3 times the 15 gives us 45. 3 into the 21 is 7 times 7, 1, 7. What we're looking at right now is 38 for 21. Sometimes I'll break this down if I can, but I don't think I have any number to break this down right now. So I'll leave this as is. So what we're looking at is 38 over 21. This is for the top. And it must be divided by 13, 7. All right, so basically we have 38 21, which will be divided by 13, 7. 38, 21 will be now multiplied. Reciprocate this, 7, 13. Well, there is something that we could cancel now. We could cancel 70 so one time, 70, 21, 3. And we don't have anything else to cancel. So 38 times 1 is 38. 3 times... 13 is 39, and this is 
our final answer. So there you go. Um, just there are a few problems on solving, you know, complex fractions. So most times you have to just work out what's at the numerator, work out what's at the denominator, and in the event that there's nothing to work out, then it simply means that the answer from the numerator must be divided by the answer from the or what you have for the denominator. So the numerator divided by the denominator. All right. Thank you for watching and. Um, Look out for more videos.